I'm Sarah McMinnamy and I'm Jessica McSannick and our presentation is on the Portland Open Space Sequence. The Portland Open Space Sequence is a series of parks and plazas in the heart of downtown Portland, Oregon. It consists of three parks, Lovejoy, um, Fountain Park, Predigro uh, Park, and the Ira Keller Fountain Park. Constructed from 1965 to um, 1987, the goal was to beautify and redevelop Portland, at Portland and it's considered to be one of the most successful urban redevelopment projects of all time. Each of the three outdoor parks can be thought of as rooms. They're separate areas for everyone to enjoy that are connected with paths that allow for many opportunities of discover. Harplin was not concerned with artificial prettiness, but rather nature was to be his decoration. He focused instead how people moved through the area. The park was designed around the shapes of the cities. Each of the individual parks are tucked in among shops, housing developments, and buildings. The city also helped to inspire the design. He used concrete to connect city with nature. The parks flow like a river. From north to south, visitors encounter four fountains that represent a stream. The uh, sequence incorporates diverse functions. It was originally sponsored by the Redevelopment Agency, and the goal was to attract middle-class families to the center city um, and regenerate the public realm. And they did this through creating a beautiful place where people would want to be and promoting citizen um, interaction. The park really engages the user. Um, another factor which is incorporated is nature. It's a huge factor. Um, bringing the feeling of nature into the city and making it more enjoyable, a more enjoyable place was the goal of this project. Um, the different parts, uh, the different parks demonstrate different natural environments. Um, the Lovejoy Park um, shows a mountain with water falling. The Pettigrew Park shows a calm environment with trees, mounds, and benches. And the Keller Fountain Plaza is the final and most magnificent of the sequence, portraying a waterfall. Um, this incorporation of nature into the design portrays a value of nature both on the behalf of Halpern and on behalf of the city of Portland and that essentially drives this design. The project was inspired by a series of streams and waterfall in Yosemite National Park but also by a period of reflection that Halpern spent in nature. Um, this period of reflection is really evident um, through, its, um, through his project. His wife, Anna Halpern, was also a huge influence on his work. She was a dancer and a choreographer, and he credits her with developing his ideas on movement and, and um, sequence spatially. And you can really see this reflected in the park as he makes the, um, the use of water the main event in the park. The Portland open space sequence created a place of privilege in Portland, Oregon. It made an ordinary area in the city extraordinary. Three distinct areas draw people of all ages and backgrounds to interact with nature and each other. This secluded area provides an escape from the city. All of these elements combine to make the Portland-Oregon space sequence one of the most successful revitalizations of urban areas.